mein Klump. If I get some cultural things wrong here, <laughs> that's just because I'm going under the assumption that Inse, Orchids and ADD, being in the Netherlands, may understand that part. Ich break mein Klump, an expression in Dutch that pretty much says I cannot believe it or some kind of a surprise or some kind of an outburst. But let me tell you, ich break mein Klump. And thank you so much for being here. And Inse, thank you so much for this box. Now, this box was a long time in the making. And someone else is going to be in trouble. Someone else is going to be in trouble because Daniel Montoya, if you see this video, I think you might remember a conversation we had because that orchid is in here. And yes, I have been collecting names on the Care Collab list for this specific orchid that is in here that I've always wanted but never bought because I was freaked out by the size of it. And well, my Maasai Red is so big, so I never bought it. But in here, Yinse has volunteered to send me a sweet sugar. So that would be Sherry Baby or something along those lines. But... <laughs> Then the email came when the box was already sent and uh, there's much more in here than just the sweet sugar. So let's have a look see as to what we have going on in here. <laughs> it's not that big a windy of a day, but as I peel away the tissue here, I am going to probably walk it into the living room before it spreads all over my patio. Ah, oh, and on all of that, I don't even think I said hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, right. I'll be right back. I'll get this put away in a safe place. Oh, this is looking so good, Inse. I got me some orchids from the Nederlande. The Nederlande. And one of them is a wish list orchid, which I could have bought so many times, but never did. And, um, from the country that invented Big Brother, <laughs> Cousin It is going to be a Big Brother because if I can pull this off, then there's something in here for Cousin It. So, isn't that remarkable? Right, now, I know pretty much what to expect, but still, this is an Oncidium I'm guessing, Inse, that you said you didn't know the identity of. So, well, the label will be reflecting your name and maybe something Dutch, something with a Dutch name. This is looking really, really good. Wow, um, yeah, check this out. A no ID Oncidium, beautifully potted up. I like the gravel at the base, <laughs> a lot. I do like that. This is going to be interesting when it blooms. Two new growths. That's incredible. On a bulb. Well, wow. Okay, guess what? We have our welcomed cocktail prepared. So let's get that in there straight away. We've got our classic welcome cocktail. Welcome to España cocktail. It's the sangria for the orchids, which is calmag and seaweed. So then they get soaked in this tub very fancy glassware for these newcomers. They are on a permanent vacation. Bienvenido a España. Okay, here's an epidendrum, a reed stem epidendrum that is red, which is pretty amazing. I don't have one like this, but I've seen on other channels that they grow very vigorously and especially on Yince's channel, he is into epidendrums, a lot of epidendrums. And is that a root or a it's a root. Oh boy, you have entrusted me with an orchid that throws out aerial roots that like no tomorrow. And my climate here is a little bit uh, <coughs> dry, but we are going to make the best of it. This is a pretty, pretty little cutting, I have to say. All right, the orchid version of sangria going into a tub and the epidendrum as well. I have not had time to make the labels yet because first I want to see what's really in here. Then the labels will be personalized. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna leave you 
Here is a Maxillaria, which will be making Cousin It Big Brother. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. I am going to have to revisit your channel. Some of the videos in the back end, so because, oh my goodness. Well, hey, hang on a second. We came with a sprayer this time as well. <laughs> it's that time of year. Woohoo! Right. This is interesting. Such cute little bulbs. So this is a variety Maxillaria variabilis. Yeah, I'm going to go back onto your videos and check because I know you've been growing this for a long time. Oh, look at all the new growths. Well, <laughs> it certainly doesn't lack in vigor. All right, this is going to be interesting. My mind is racing. My mind is racing. Beep, beep. Look at this. Freshly cut. Well, straight in. We've got a tub for this one. And yes, I can pour in my climate straight over the new growths and get some of those little roots that are in the stem at the base into some water. So that will easily dry out the new growth by the end of the day because you can see natural airflow in abundance here. Oh, look at this. Inse, you forfeited a mount. I love your mounts. This is the sweet sugar. Wow, you know what? I may be completely wrong. I thought sweet sugar is along the lines of Sherry Baby. Look at how the roots are greening up. I will send you the mount back once I'm done with it. <laughs> this is a big sacrifice to send such a gorgeous mount, Inse. But I understand why you didn't want to tackle it. I get it. That is amazing. Peoples. Look at this. Sweet sugar. My word, what a treat. And I, wow, it's, it's, yeah, I see why you couldn't. I see. And I am tempted to fandangle something, including the mount, into a dish-like setup. Because this is nothing short of gorgeous. How the roots green up, you know, that that's a, such a treat for me growing so much in pots to see roots green up. Now, this unfortunately only has plain RO water in it, but this one is definitely going to get a welcome cocktail as soon as it dries out and probably tomorrow. So it's going to be a little bit deprived of the typical welcome here. But my goodness, check this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I even like that how you've placed it. You know, everything of mine, well, most of mine is in pots, but look at how beautifully this is positioned on this mount. It's got its own little hollow. I could grow it like this if I wanted to, if I couldn't hang it up. Look at the potential of this mount. Oh, Yinse. I really appreciate the generosity of sending it with the mount, but I understand that this was a big sacrifice as well. I'm as impressed with the orchid as I am with the mount. Can you tell? It looks like a little boat. It's awesome. Oh, goodness me. I'm, I'm babbling. I'm, I don't mean to waste anybody's time, but oh, that is going to be, yeah, I understand. I get it. I get it. That's too pretty to remove. We'll have to wait and see how it fares in my climate. I have to be very, very honest and open about my conditions. Today, I've got no breeze, but I've got 25% humidity. However, if this orchid is a smaller growing variety, maybe, just maybe I can pull it off. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But this is exciting. This is exciting. Oh, there's roots in the sphagnum moss. That's great. So let that nicely soak up. This is your native sphagnum moss, I'm guessing, because it looks awesome. If you don't know, Yinsa goes on nature trails and collects the sphagnum moss. 
Look at that. Completely different ball game. I will link Yinz's channel in the description. If you're not familiar with it, he is the guru of mounted orchids. Most of what he grows is mounted. It's pretty incredible. I can appreciate that because of the workload it requires. You see there's roots at the bottom of this and that's what I'm targeting at the moment. Getting those roots hydrated. Oh, Inse, I can't thank you enough for your patience, for your persistence. I was shying away from a Shari baby for the longest time. Your offer to send it to me and it came with company. And they're all very, very welcome here in southern Spain. Ole! <laughs> I want to say bedankt. And then I don't know the rest of it. I want to say it's bedankt and something else as in very, very much. Ich heiße sie alle herzlich willkommen. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. This is going to be super interesting and exciting to see what comes out of it. Fingers crossed that I do Yinsa Sweet Sugar justice. I'm going to be off and clucking over my newcomers. <laughs> Helicopter mom, you know, that kind of thing. Have yourselves a beautiful day. On one condition though, that you please stay safe and take care. Bye.